Hi, I'm Peter Covington, and I'm going to be reading today Hebrews 1, verses 1 through 4, from the first egalitarian translation. In times past, God spoke in many and varied ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these final days, God has spoken to us through the one who has been made heir to all things and through whom the universe was first created. Christ is the reflection of God's glory, the exact rep representation of God's being. All things are sustained by God's powerful word. Having cleansed us from sin, Jesus Christ sat down at the right hand of the glory of heaven. As far superior to the angels as the name Christ has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Now from Hebrews 2, 5 through 12. God didn't create the inhabited earth of which we speak to have it ruled by angels. Somewhere this testimony is found. Who are we that you are mindful of us? We are mere mortals, and yet you care for us. You have made us a little lower than the angels and crowned us with glory and honor. You have put all things under our feet. In subjugating all things to us, God left nothing unsubjug unsubjugated. At present, we don't see all things thus subject, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made little less than the angels, crowned with glory and honor by dying on the cross, so that through the gracious will of God, Jesus might taste death for us all. Indeed, it was fitting that when bringing many to glory, God, for whom and through whom, all things exist, should make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering. The one who makes holy and those who are made holy are all from the one God. And because of this, Jesus is not ashamed to call us siblings. As it is written, I will proclaim your names to my siblings. I will sing your praise in the midst of the assembly. Again, that was from the first egalitarian translation. Thank you.